Hey guys, welcome back to the Twilight Shooting Game here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make it so that if you're on a certain team, you have a specific weapon and you have certain clothes. Alright, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go into Cyberstrip Service, get in a, a normal script like this. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Team Giver Script. And what else you're going to need is you're going to need two teams in, in your teams folder. If you don't have your teams folder, you're going to need to go into model and then go into service. And then if your team's not in there, it'll be here. Then click on teams and then click on insert like that. And once you've got the teams folder, get in your, get in your teams by clicking on the plus and then click on the team button like that. Uh, and I've already got my staff name and police and prisoner like that. And and now when you're gonna go in your script, you're gonna need to click on the plus and then click on folder. Now you're just gonna name these um the same as your teams. So I'm gonna have one for police, duplicate that, and I'm gonna have one for prisoner like that. And now inside of that you're going to want to have another folder and this one's going to be closing like that and then just duplicate and put it in a prisoner and then for the police one I'm going to have uh, tools because the police are also going to have a gun and a key card or something like that uh, so make sure you type everything in the script exactly how I type it. Make sure you get all the capitalization correct because it's stay sensitive and it's probably not worth you type anything different. Okay, let's just straight in the script. Okay, so the script should be done now. The only thing we need to do now is add in the clothing properties and the tools. Um, so then that's what the team would load with. Um, so for the police, I'm just going to insert a shirt. Like that. And um, make sure you name that shirt. And then we're going to insert pants. And make sure you name that pants too. Just so that it finds it into the in the place in the place um explore like what's inside the player. Um, and now we just need to find the IDs. Um, so I've already got my ID my ID here. So for my police one I've got this ID here. So I'll just use place that in there. Yeah. And then I've also got my shirt ID, so I'm going to just paste that into there also. And we will do the same for um, prisoners, so I'm just going to duplicate that and then move them inside Golden and Prisoner. Um, now I'm just going to insert, just do the exact same thing, change the IDs to the ones that are prisoners, like that. And Like that. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into the toolbox and I'm going to get some tools for the for the place. So we're probably going to want a, a gun. So I'm just going to put that in there like that and then drag it into the tools for the place. And probably also going to want a key card. So I'll just search one in the toolbox. I know I don't want a key card door. Um, one of these. And then drag it inside the tools for the police. Like that. Also, I did make a mistake uh, in the script. I actually tried to told the script to look for the um, property for clothes. Instead of actually named the clothing. So if you have no problem, you could just name rename the clothing to clothes like that. And then do the same. Then do the same for prisoner. Like that. So this video helps if you want to see more, so make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell, we know if I'm video comes out. Also remember to check out my Discord server, link in the description. Yeah, and make sure you can um, the video suggestions in the Discord channel. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.